वेलकम बैक गाइस सो टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अगली नंबर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीड कोड सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज वी आर गिवन अ नंबर एंड वी नीड टू चेक इफ दिस नंबर इज अगली नंबर और नॉट If this is an ugly number, we will be returning true. Else, we will return false. So the definition of ugly number is: ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include two, three, and five. So the number whose prime factor Are other than these three numbers will not be our ugly number. So let's look at the example they have given. So the first example is six. Number six is composed of two and three. So two and three can lie in our ugly number definition. So this will be returning true. Six is our ugly number. So it will return true. Now for eight, eight is also an ugly number because it is composed of only two. as its prime factor now let's look at the third example third example says we are we are given 14 14 is composed of 2 and 7 2 lies in our definition but 7 doesn't lie in our definition of ugly number so the output would be false and they have given a note that 1 is also considered as a ugly number so first of all what we need to do is the smallest value 0 we need to think about zero as is zero would be our ugly number no so write down here if condition if the number is zero then we will be returning false now if the number is divisible by 2 divided by 2 unless it is not divisible by 2 we will be dividing this number by 2 until it is so this would be num not n and same goes for 3 And for also for five, divide it. This divide this number by three till it is divisible. Also for five, divide it by five until it is divisible. So these three while loops are checking if this number is divisible by two, then divide it by two. If it is divisible by three, divide it by three until and unless these while condition are false. Now when we are outside all this. Like say we are given six, so six for six we will be checking here. Six is divisible by two. Now yes it is, so it would be converted to three. Now is three divisible by two? No. So we come here in this while loop three. Three is divisible by three. So now this number would be one. Is one divisible by three? No. So we are outside here. We are given one. Is one divisible by five? No. So at last we'll be checking if this number equals to 1 then we'll return true else we'll return false so this is the logic for this problem so this is the explanation of this problem we'll let's run this code it's pa it passes the sample now let's sum it and see so it is accepted So this was the explanation and the code for this problem. I hope you like this video and if so don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram.